Hi, Noura. It's Daphne here. How are you? Thank you for sending in your first essays on the course. Correction, great that you're getting involved. Um, just as a matter of organisation, it's very important that you only give us the essays that are on the course, not extra essays that you've chosen, okay? Uh, the way we work through is that there's a series of essay titles, um, there's a series of things that we are looking out for in the essays as we correct. Um, so please, can you answer the questions that are given in the right order? That would be great. Thank you. So you've uh, done one about uh, large companies and industries moving to outside urban areas. Do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Multinational and other huge organisations, spelling there, have been encouraged to shift their factories to places that are far from cities. Why? Um, so hopefully later you're going to tell me why, but I don't think you are, but why? So because there's overcrowding in the urban areas, because they want to regenerate other areas, uh, you need to tell me why. Um, this essay will argue that the advantages of these are the way the drawbacks. Uh, yes, you don't need to say this essay will first demonstrate. Um, I would cut this bit. I would um, do this bit first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Establishing your factories. This is a nice sentence. Uh, and then put this bit. Um, down here, put that bit there. So I would reorganise that. Okay. So cities establishing factories in rural areas contribute to reduced unemployment and economic development of the region. Good. Now you're telling me why. That's great. So logically that works better. Followed by an analysis. Um, to reduce unemployment. Um, and <clears throat> I, I wouldn't put. Um, analysis literally just put and how <clears throat> sorry and how whoops um sorry that was okay see and how find a disadvantage <clears throat> excuse me maybe pollution can be resolved this essay will argue, okay, the, the advantages of such a move of new locations outweigh the disadvantages. Okay, for, that's a, for me, that's a more logical order for your intro, uh, but good intro otherwise. The major advantages of firms setting up businesses setting up business okay, in rural areas is to create job opportunities for the people living in the surrounding areas. You can't have surroundings, you have to have surrounding areas. When these companies build their factories in, in such or in these underdeveloped areas, they need to hire employees. Okay, These vacancies can only be filled, um, uh, could be filled, I would say could rather than can, because it's all hypothetical, could be filled by people living nearby leading to uh, a reduction um, in employment in that area. Additionally, the infrastructure in the region may be improved. It's a nice way to use passive tenses here. So maybe improved in order to uh, in order to support smooth operations of the industry. Yes, smooth operations and infrastructure. of these industries. Okay, so where you can, just give an extra word here, just to explain what you mean. Uh, this in turn may lead, uh, all the way through I would use hypothetical, use modals, may lead to, economic, to the economic growth of the locality. For instance, this is a nice example, in the 70s, Saudi government gave some financial support to minor manufacturing companies to build their factories in Yambu. Over the years, this has created more than 100,000 jobs. Really good, a nice use of the present perfect tense there, that's excellent. However, these industries, um, so, so many experts argue that so these little expressions here are quite useful just in, just in the cohesion of the essay, really. It makes it easier to read. Uh, <clears throat> these industries pose a threat to, pose a threat uh, a threat of pollution, of polluting. Okay, you either you should have threatened to. Uh, 
I would say pose a threat of creating pollution or these indices threaten to pollute the area. If not regulated, the profit-making entities may, again, hypothetical, or are inclined to, you could have if it's stronger than that, use cheap ways to dump waste products in rivers nearby, or you don't need to have they, that can go, release harmful chemicals in the air, that pol uh, chemicals that you don't need to repeat that, that pollute the air. Take the example of China, currently smog, where, a relative clause there, where China's uh, current smog has reached dangerous levels in the country, resulting in 15% increased cases of lung disease. Yeah, hence governmental bodies need to intervene um, urgently, I would say, because it is terrible. Urgently. In order to control. That would be a bit smoother to control the industrial pollution created by these companies. Good. Very good example and nice paragraph there. In conclusion, um, Yes, we need your opinion. Watch out here. Do you think you're going to need to give me your opinion? Okay. Um, in conclusion, I believe that that rural areas, that uh, some uh, some rural areas are able to flourish economically when factory outlets are moved there. Thus, this should be encouraged by governments, yes, along with uh, along with regula regulating these firms so they do not um, create um, or add, add to the immense pollution. Okay, really nice essay though. You've done a very good, very good job. There's lots of nice stuff there. You've answered the question, apart from I, I do need your opinion. The coherence is good. I can follow the way through it you're arguing nicely a few little things on grammar that i pick up on uh, but mostly really good and some nice language there as well uh, it's an interesting area and it's a good it's a good um chance to use some vocabulary linked to the environment as well which is always a popular topic okay so you're using the template for this one um so experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated um, that schooling systems. <clears throat> you uh, here now. I would debate whether you're going to need to kind of modify this a bit depending on what comes next. Whether schooling systems should make learning more engaging, or because I've said whether you're going to have to need more, or focus solely on academics. Uh, while some people believe that schools should focus only on educating children, uh, personally I strongly disagree. This essay will argue that entertainment at school. Now, for me, the most difficult thing in this essay is that you have to explain what is this? What do you mean by this? Okay, entertainment. Uh, so I wouldn't even use that word. I would say uh, that adding alternative. Um, subjects. School can be beneficial. So immediately the examiner goes, oh yeah, great, okay, they, they understand, they understand what they have to do here. Uh, okay, students can suffer from low interest levels and a lack of focus if they're taught solely, I think you need this word here, either only or solely through traditional methods. Uh, so You've got only there, but move it. Okay. The central reason, but this is just adds more emphasis. That's why I've done it. Put it there. It's more emphatic. The central reason behind this is that memory-based learning to consume knowledge can become boring and monotonous, leading to learners' disengagement. Good. Okay. Nice there. Uh, for example, recent empirical research by the government demonstrated that 90% of high school students discontinued their studies because they blame conventional teaching methods. Okay, 90%? That's super high. Uh, I'm very happy for you to make up an example, but that is not a believable amount. Yeah, maybe 30% would be okay. Make sure it's, it's kind of, um, make sure it works, your argument. Uh, this issue, okay, if you've got, uh, okay, however, so use the connecting words here. However, experts, 
Okay. Right. This issue could easily be resolved by incorporating fun activities into the usual curriculum. For example, uh, school students have reported that the use of interactive material and teaching techniques uh, that involves their input, because obviously that be students, can lead to reinstating their interest levels. Let's go a bit more here. Um, and motivating them to succeed. For instance, a survey conducted by Manchester demonstrated that academic performance of students increased when they were taught using methods that required their involvement. Uh, yep, yeah, and that were learner technical term, which you might like to add there. Plus, it's possible to state beyond doubt that enjoyable activities can help students who struggle to pay attention. Okay, so you said interactive media and te teaching techniques. Um, but I think, you, again, yes, enjoyable is fine, but you could say, give me more, such as incorporating sport, music, or art into the daily education routines. I mean, something like that. So for me, this is what we mean by developing the essay. So showing me you really understand what you're talking about. Uh, from the argument spelling, spelling given, I firmly believe that educational institutes should not only focus on academic curriculum, but also find ways to make it interesting and engaging for students. Good. It's predicted that the use of interactive methods of teaching will increasingly grow in importance over the next few years. Um, good, you could say, which will have a positive impact on uh, learning outcomes. Something. The predictions I find a little bit difficult. For me, I think they always need a, a little bit extra in there. Uh, but you've done really well. Good essays. Thank you very much. And look forward to reading your next ones.